Capital Hoops. Today, I am joined with John Beckham. John is one of the directors of the new upcoming film, Basketball County in the Water, which Showtime will be airing in, I believe, 40 days is the, is the countdown where we're at. John, thanks for, thanks for joining me today. I've had the pleasure of working with you, you know, for the last few years on this. And while I'm a very, very small part of the, of the puzzle, it's, uh, it's, it's really cool to be involved with it. And I just want to pick your brain a little bit and let the people kind of hear a little bit about, about what's in store. Awesome, man. What else are we going to do, right? <laughs> so you approached me, I don't know, three, three and a half years ago with this idea of kind of showing the history of PG County basketball. And, you know, we, I remember we did some interviews back then. We went around the county. You, you were talking to people. But I know a lot has happened since then. Um, I know you've talked to hundreds of people. There's more directors involved than just yourself now. Obviously, Kevin Durant being involved is to have his stamp is about as big time as it gets. But take me through these last few years from kind of idea in your head to now having like a viable product that's about to be shown nationally. Yeah, well, um, well, like, as you know, you were kind of kind of one of the first people I talked to during its inception. I, I wanted to talk to some people around here that were getting lots of footage. Um, so, you know, the biggest things that happened were we shot some interviews, got some footage and created a little sizzle reel and sent that up to um, Rich Kleiman, who is Kevin Durant's agent and, and like friend to see if they get involved. And then so they jumped on board or I mean, they kind of, <laughs> you know, brought me on board and kind of kind of got this thing really moving and then the second big thing that happened was that uh me and jimmy jenkins linked up jimmy's a, a local filmmaker a local local director he's got he's a pg county guy just like me he grew up playing sports in the area and he was doing some similar stuff uh, he's got lot, lots of footage was doing interviews and so we combined forces and combined footage and, and that's really when the project really became um full steam ahead kind of thing when you when you and jimmy kind of combined forces like you said how similar were your ideas and how much did you like how much pivoting was there from your original idea to post meeting jimmy and kind of combining forces uh that's a great question uh and i wish jimmy was here to kind of talk to talk through that what he thinks about that i don't think there was much pivoting um from the original story i mean both of us wanted to tell kind of the PG County's basketball story. You know, there's been so much, so many great hoopers, so much great stuff that happened that really when we came together and realized that both of us were filmmakers, both of us were athletes, both of us loved the county, both of us knew all about the county and both of us had all this footage and all these interviews that like, it kind of became a no brainer. Uh, we're very similar in, in like lots of ways. So it was pretty natural, um, you know, from the day that we met, like things felt good and things kept on feeling better for, uh, from each time we worked together. You know, we've had our, like, you know, we've bumped heads and we've definitely argued and, but like, like we're brothers now. So that's going to happen, you know, especially with a project this major, if you're not arguing sometimes and something's wrong. So, so did you guys have like almost identical ideas? Like if you guys hadn't merged together, would there be two films coming out that had like a ton of crossover? I don't think so. Um, I haven't really thought about us not merging, uh, but if we didn't, right, I think right. that I think that uh, I think that Jimmy's project was going to be more geared towards um, maybe more of the youth basketball in Prince George's County. I don't think it would have, has have dived into the history really. Right. Like, you don't touch on the history in this in this movie, but we've really come together and kind of melded the history with some of the youth basketball stuff that he has. Um, it's just really enhanced the project. Talk to me about when Durant and 35 Ventures, when they, when they kind of signed on, how did they, like, how, how did that process work? I know you said you sent them a sizzle reel, but from sending it to them being like, yes, we're, we're all in, let's make this happen, how, how, how did that go? Well, we sent the sizzle reel, and I think that um, 35 uh, Media – hadn't really you know they're just kind of st we're still starting three years ago you know what i mean there was still right. not a lot of a lot of projects the boardroom wasn't out yet and i think that they knew that this was something um that was kind of near and dear to them but i think that there was some proving 
on our end, uh, uh, on my end, like, you know, on my team's end, like proving to them that we can do it. So, you know, we sent a sizzle reel, they asked for some edits, um, kind of did some vetting, and then they were like, all right, let's, let's start working on it. And I, and I don't think that it was really like an all-in thing for them until maybe about a year, I don't know, maybe about a year ago when they finally like vetted everything and, and they realized, you know, this is a project that has some legs. And I think Showtime being interested was like kind of the impetus of it re being a real movie. Right. So in the next 40 days, what, what, what's life like for you? Are you excited? Are you nervous? I mean, this is your, your biggest project in the, you know, in, in the video space, I assume. Um, and I'm sure there's a lot of anticipation on your end, right? Bro, even if I directed Goodfellas, this would still be the biggest project in, in my <laughs> life. Um, you know, there's, you know, as basketball is a, it like my family has a rich history of basketball. My grandfather was, you know, played college ball and was principal at Anacostia for a long time and, and was the head basketball coach there. And I grew up playing basketball and I, I have a sense of pride from the county. And um, those two things coming together have kind of made this, uh, you know, just something that I don't know if there's any other films going to be able to replace for me. Uh, next 40 days, man, I'm going to be sitting in the house playing online poker, uh, editing this pizza documentary I'm working on, writing up some, you know, some pilot scripts, you know, working on other stuff. There's not a lot for us to work on for the uh, basketball county down here in Maryland right now. When you found out that this documentary was going to be airing kind of while the corona thing was going on, when people are in desperate search of good media, good things to watch on TV, I mean, Netflix is booming like none other before. How excited were you to find out that, that you were going to be getting all these eyeballs who are in search of trying to find something really, really fresh to watch? Man, I was bummed out about the coronavirus. I was like, we wanted to do an MGM Grand premiere party, red carpet situation, you know. Right, right. right. I was going to get it in. I was excited about that and getting trying to get everybody together. Yeah. And last. So, like, that's the thing that I'm kind of bummed about, like, having that having that premiere party where we can celebrate with, you know, all the people that were involved in this and all the great hoopers in one room would have been something else. Um, I'm not really concerned with the eyes on the project. I'm more concerned on if it's good or not. I think it's going to be good though. Is there anything, is, is the project 100% done or are there still like final pieces that need to be put together with this puzzle? Uh, no, there aren't any final pieces that need to get put together, but it, um, there's just like some, like technical packaging that needs to happen and some uh, like some behind the scenes kind of legal mumbo jumbo stuff that, that needs to happen for network television. Gotcha. All right, John. We're there. Well, we, got, we got the story, you know, we got the story down. We got, we got things together. It's, it's, it'll be ready. Many, let me, last question. How many interviews do you think you and Jimmy between the two of you, how many do you think you did and what percentage of them are actually being used in the film? Uh, just say about a hundred interviews. Um, and we, you know, we traveled for some of them. So between, uh, you know, we had, we went to LA for Kevin twice. We went to Miami and got bees. We got to, I went to Cincinnati and got DJ, um, went to Atlanta and got Sam Young and Jarrett Jack and Danny Ferry and Penny Green. Like, uh, so, I mean, we've been all over, but out, out of that, I'd say less than half will actually end up making it in the film, which sucks, but Right. That's the way it is. Yeah. Was it a major issue? For, I mean, I know as the process has gone on, there's always new stuff being introduced. And when that happens, old stuff has to come out. So has it, has it been bothersome for you that there's so much footage you've accumulated? And as, you know, version one and then version two and version three and version four come out, it seems like there's more and more that's being let go. But you, there's really no way around it. It is what it is. But has that affected you at all? hasn't really affected me i'm kind of bummed out you know there are some people that love the county and love the sport just like we do that gave an interview and are excited about it right but like you know you know i'm a first-time director um i am I mean, you know for a network i i really don't get a say at this point in my life on who uh, like ultimately who makes the cut and who doesn't make the cut i do get to like be like yo we need to get this person back in but that doesn't mean they're going to accept that note. You know what I mean? Right, right. So, yeah, I mean, I'm a little bummed out. But the only thing I really care about is, is the story and making sure we tell it right. So if everybody's got to get cut out and the story's good, 
I'm okay with that. Now, if people get cut out and that negatively affects the story, I wouldn't be okay with that. But I don't think right. that's the case with this picture. Got you. All right, John. Well, we appreciate it. Um, appreciate the time. And 40 Days will be here as soon as we know it. And uh, we'll talk to you again as it gets closer to showtime. All right, bro. All right. Thanks, man.